Water Development Commission, former presidential aspirant under the APC. In it's the first of many series of the People's Senate Town Hall ahead of, of the general elections next year. The presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, Rabi Kokwanso, and his running mate, Isaac Idausa, are the first Senator to take the center Rabi stage. Musa, Thank you so much, indeed. Please have your seat, gentlemen. Also on Zoom, who have joined us. The questions posed to the candidates range from security to economy, education, and politics. And the first set of questions on security rolling from the audience in the auditorium. There is a lack of account accountability within the security sector, where officials whose negligence or other acts of omission or commission are not penalized. You were once the Minister of Defense. What did you do as Minister of Defense to address this challenge? And what would you do if you become, uh, if you are elected the president? The military in this country are very much inadequate. Now we want to raise the level of just less than 250,000 to about 1 million. So also the police, less than 230,000 to another 1 million. And people in your own uh, area, the DSS, of course, we increase the number, and civil defense and so on, to match the exigencies of this moment. Of course, issue of training, retraining, issue not only of the uh, intelligence from the people, even the artificial intelligence that is very strong now uh, due to the level of uh, the technology that we have across the world, and of course, we will have everybody working together to ensure peace and stability. So on one hand, yes, we'll dialogue with anybody. But throughout the history of not only Nigeria, the world over, there will always be a few people who will not be happy with peace. And that's why our government will take necessary action to ensure that there is peace in each and every square meter in this country. Meanwhile, the vice presidential candidate Isaac Idausa believes there's a strong correlation between corruption and economic management. Uh, we should look out for the output of goods and services, uh, call, uh, capital flight, whereby is the process where Nigerians siphon our hard earned money abroad and they engage in deploying the services of our monies abroad. Now, Leadership must be found to be absolutely transparent. There must be transparency, probity, and accountability. We'll be cutting costs of governance. We'll make How sure governance is not lucrative. Right now, people do all they want to do to be in governance because of it's, it's so lucrative to be in government. The town hall organized by Channels Television is supported by UK Aid, Hope Action for Progressive Women, and youth in politics, the Situation Room, Yaga Africa, and the partnership to engage, reform, and learn. Dari Ido, Channels Television News.